Okay, so first just tell us about starting playing with the NBA. Like, what's your favorite moment in your career? You know, it, I have played in the NBA for nine years. Um, there's been a lot of memorable moments, but some of the most memorable are with, with teammates and enjoying some of those moments. I would say one thing that comes to mind is at a celebratory parade in Los Angeles when, when Shaquille got up there and unveiled his, his uh, a, a piece of music that he had written. And the, and the entire team went down there to the, to the podium. And it was a celebration. It was, it was good feeling. It was emotion. It was exuberance from everybody. Devin George was down there dancing. Isaiah Ryder was down there. I was down there dancing. And I, I, I was the one that got called out. And so I got called out. So I, I remember that because where I go, people always remind me about that. They're like, let's do the dance. Yeah, and I don't do that. <laughs> Can you dispel the rumor that you're here to find a wife? <laughs> you know, you know, most I'm glad. <laughs> Who made these questions? Was that you or was that my man Eric? We'll just keep that on the DL. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. It, it, when I think about, <clears throat> you know, for example, I mentioned Kevin Garnett earlier. Uh -huh. Kevin was always a guy. He was looking at every single factor that could help our team win. Um, whether it was conditioning, whether it was getting extra work in the weight room, whether it was actually looking at extra tape. Uh -huh. And so here with the Utah Flash, one factor as a coach that I look at is here we are at a tremendous altitude, okay? Players don't like to come to altitude and play, yeah. okay? And so, and so that's going to be a huge advantage in helping us to win games. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Way to completely avoid that question completely. <laughs> well, who's the most difficult person you've played against? Well, I would say Kevin Garnett. It comes to mind initially. Uh, Shaq is is a guy that, in his prime, mm -hmm. there was really nothing you could do. Yeah. Because at seven one and and you know three three hundred thirty five pounds. Just like a wall. <laughs> he, he he's strong. He's athletic, mm -hmm. and he has a huge heart. Yeah. Um, Kevin Garnett, because you know Kevin is someone that can do pretty much everything on the court. He can, yeah. he can pass, he can shoot the basketball, and he can play defense. And so those are guys that, that really uh, are tough matchups. Yeah, when it seems like everything they do just goes to gold. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so switching over with the D-League, what is it that uh -huh. you like with the D-League versus NBA, what it's doing? Well, one of the things I really enjoy about the developmental league here working with the Utah Flash, obviously our owner, Brant Anderson, is this is a proving ground for guys that, that are hungry for an opportunity. Yeah. And as you know, and as a lot of individuals know, the line between the NBA and the developmental league is a blurry line. Mm -hmm. There's probably, in any given year, there's probably you know, 10 to 30 guys in the D League that are good enough to play in the NBA. But for whatever reason, um, you know, whether it's a contract situation, whether it's just not having the right break, it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that go up, but there's a lot that are good enough yeah. that, that stay down. And so. What I'm excited about is, is working with these athletes and, and helping them hopefully find those little things that can help take them to the next level. And so how's, what's it been like so far working with Coach Jones? Well, you know, it, it's, the process has been very interesting because Coach Brad Jones reached out to me um, probably four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. and, and we had some great conversations. And at that particular time, I, I was not sure if I was done playing. Yeah. I was in conversations with um, various NBA teams through my agents. There was an offer from Greece. Mm -hmm. But the more I talked to Brad Jones, the more I got to know the Utah Flash organization, it, it felt like a great fit. Yeah. And so I'm really excited to be here. You know, to me, just in, in the brief conversations I've had with, with Brad in our meetings so far, mm -hmm. his, his knowledge of the game of basketball is huge. Yeah. But the thing I like the most is he knows how to, he knows how to interact with athletes. And, and that is maybe even bigger yeah. than the X's and O's part of things. Um, so at the championship dance, we've been doing some practicing. They want to know if maybe there's a chance we'll be able to see that coming out for the season. I would say Eric would have to get out there. Yeah. Brant Anderson would have okay. to get out there. I'd like to see you, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> we got Brant right over here, actually. 
Um, we'll call them out. No problem. We I, can take care of that. We'd like to see Brant out there. I mean, if, if ownership makes a commitment to, to, to dancing, yeah. I think the coaching staff can do okay, it. Okay, perfect. But that includes the PR interns like yourself. Too. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> perfect. I love to dance. We can do that. It's okay. We'll okay, handle that. Okay. And then also just the last thing for you. What's it like kind of being an LDS celebrity, being in the public light? What's difficult about that? What is, you know, motivating? How does that kind yeah. of all work out with you? Well, I, I have I grew up in the LDS faith. I grew up Mormon, and to be honest, it's it's been one of the very best things in my life. I, I went on my mission uh, when I was um, out of high school. I went to Spain, and you know I love basketball. I love it, and I've been fortunate to be on some good teams. I mean, sometimes I was a contributor on those teams. Sometimes I was towards the end of the bench, but I've I've been lucky to to be part of some great basketball memories, and I can honestly say that. You know, anything great that, that has happened in basketball, and, and there have been some great memories. It, mm -hmm. it, it is truly, it's great, it's awesome, but when you compare it to, you know, trying to be a good person, you know, when we make mistakes, trying to get up and do better next time, and, and, and when you compare it to really trying to do a great job in your faith, there's no comparison. There's absolutely no comparison. Mm -hmm. I love basketball, but I love my faith more, and I'm, and I'm really grateful um, for the opportunity that, that I've had to, to grow up in, in the LDS faith. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, I love my faith, I love basketball, and I'm excited to be here. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, to rock right now. I'm Jack Deason, I came to get down. Yes, I'm internationally low. And I'm going to rock a microphone, because I can see it. He ain't cold, he's slow, and for me, you know you can't hold me. Yes, I'm a winner.